The Vendor Payment app is a great way to streamline your payments to regular vendors. Start by installing it from the Apps tab. In the form section, you can edit any of the existing fields or add any new fields from the left menu. The Vendor Payment app is a great time to use master data. A master field will refer to a separate spreadsheet to recall data. Here I have a master called Approved Vendor List that I want to choose from. This is what the master looks like. The master field will ask which column you want to display, and what other columns will also show. You can then use this master field to auto-populate other data in the form. For example, here's what a live form can look like. I call up the vendor name, and the contact and address automatically show. Users can save a form as a template if the vendor bills regularly. For the vendor payment workflow, you want to make sure the purchaser signs off that the goods were actually received, and that you also get approval from any managers before processing. You can create conditional steps as well to get the finance head sign off if the invoice is over a certain amount. Next, you can set up your permissions to make certain sections editable, read-only, or hidden. Finally, before you publish the app, give it a good subject. This is how you distinguish between items that are going through your app. You'll likely want to use the vendor name as a part of it. I'll use this field account name rather than the vendor name to avoid displaying an index number that is associated with that master field. That's how you set up the vendor payment app in Kissflow.